Hi and Assalamualaikum, we are from Group 7 and today we will be presenting on online child pornography in Malaysia with special position in the United Kingdom. So this is our group member, the first one to present is Balkis Adriana on introduction and conclusion. Next is Najwa presenting the second object, uh, the first objective. After her is me, Fatina Amira presenting the uh, second objective and lastly is Fatin Faika presenting the last objective. So the scope of our assignment is law in Malaysia governing online chat pornography with special reference to the, to the UK legislation. Our objectives are to identify the cause in the rising consumption of chat pornography in Malaysia, to critically analyze the legal frameworks governing online chat pornography in Malaysia with special, with special reference to the UK and to observe the effectiveness of Malaysia's legal framework in combating the consumption of online chat pornography. The presence of a child pornography website creates anxiety for any child, family, government and state as well. There is no doubt that the internet has allowed child pornography to develop more exclusively. The fact that technology itself has significantly lowered the barrier to entry for the creation and dissemination of child porn is one of the causes for the explosion. According to the United States Department of Justice, child pornography is a form of children's sexual abuse. Child pornography is described by federal law as any graphic representation of pornographic activity that involving a minor who is below 18 years old. Federal legislation forbids any object of child pornography from being produced, published, manufactured, obtained, or possessed. A denial of criminal legislation on child pornography is a serious offence. In Malaysia, the former Prime Minister Abdullah Ahmad Badawi addressed the prospect of revealing a list of child sex abusers convicted after the horrific torture and tragic death of Nurin Jaslin, 8 years old girl. Due to the growing number of the child porn victims in Malaysia, there have been calls to register sexual abusers. It has been argued that the security of women and children in Malaysia society are not properly covered by the new legislation. This case forced us to think whether the existing law protects the public from sexual abuse, including women and children. We will look into the causes in the rising consumption of child pornography as the number of cases reported on this case is getting higher and worrying over time. The weakness of cyber safety and protection is one of the causes for the rising number of this issue. The sexual explicit content, especially child sexual abuse material or CSAM, is easy to access. According to the Malaysian Internet Crime Against Children Investigation Unit, MICAC, in 2017, a data showed that a total number of 117 Malaysian children have been sexually harassed online. Meanwhile, in 2018, there were 17,338 IP addresses were used to share child sexual abuse materials online. Therefore, the cyber safety and protection should be strengthened in order to protect the children from being the victims of child pornography online. The next cause is environmental factors of the abuses. For these factors, statistics shows that most likely numbers of the predators were sexually abused when they were children. Thus, when they grow up, they tend to become abusers too because of their past. It was said that one of the reasons for the abusers to become one is to feel superior after being the one of the sexual victims in the past. Besides that, in most cases, the ones that view child pornography might suffer from pedophilic disorder such as pedophile, hebophile, as well as ephibophile. These types of people are sexually attracted to children. However, it can be said that some of these people would only like to watch the children um, being tortured. Therefore, they will keep viewing or watching child pornography uh, online in order to satisfy their feelings. So before analyzing local legislation under law of Malaysia, we have to understand that child pornography is one of crises that needs international organizations' attention. So we have to first take a look at the UNCRC and its protocol, uh, OHCHR or OPSC. So UNCRC is one of earliest international instruments established by UN to curb child pornography through the prohibition of exploiting child uh, children in any form of pornographic action. But this instrument did not provide a specific definition
section of chapterography. So we have to take a look at the OHCHR under Article 2, uh, Clause C, where it covered all aspects that could constitute chapterography offline and uh, offline and online, including visual representation and non-visual representation. Uh, plus, Article 3, Clause 1 of uh, C of OHCHR stated that all signatory states must take every appropriate me uh, measures to criminalize any actions that are equal to chapter pornography, including distributing, owning, and selling chat pornography materials. SOCA 2017 is Malaysia's main law concerning online child pornography and all children under 18 years old is protected by this act. Plus, any person who owns, distributes, and sells child pornography materials will be penalized or imprisoned under this act. Uh, this act must also be read together with other existing acts such as the penal code. Section 2 of the Act stated that any depiction of child pornography and sexually explicit conduct is illegal. Section 4B of the Act defines sexually explicit conduct as any form of sexual contact such as intercourse and masturbation between an adult and a minor. The penalties of child sex offenders can be found under Part 2, 3 and 4 of SOCA 2017. Part 2 specified the penalty on the owning, selling, publishing, making child pornography, preparing to produce or direct child pornography, and it is governed by Section 5, Section 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the Act. For example, individuals who attain child pornography material will be imprisoned up to 5 years and a fine not exceeding uh, 10,000 or both. Part 3 of the Act focuses on child grooming and sexual communication with a child. Under this part, child sex offenders are liable for a crime under Section 12, 13, 14 of the Act. Lastly, Part 4 of the Act covers offences that involve sexual assault, whether it involves a physical or non-physical contact, which is under Section 15 and 16. So, it is safe to conclude that SOCA has laid down an extensive legal framework that can be used by the Malaysian legal authorities in combating online child pornography. Moving on to the UK approach, there our main legislation is Protection of Children Act 1978, where the Act criminalized the making, processing, producing, and distributing any form of child pornography materials under Section 1 of the Act. Child sex offenders in the UK are liable for a penalty of 10 years imprisonment, fine not exceeding uh, 1,000 euro or both. Next is Section uh, 160 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988 that also covers similar things, which is, it is an offense for a person to possess an obscene photo of a child. Furthermore, the, the UK legislation Legislation also stated that ISP can be held liable for third-party content if they are caught hosting or providing pornographic cachet content within their respective server. So users are allowed to report to the authorities if they suspect the ISP is doing that. Plus, we can see uh, many disputes in the UK are uh, relating to child pornography, such as R and Fellows and Arnold case. In this case, uh, the Court of Appeal held that any file stored on a database that could be displayed on electronic device screen or could be printed out is a violation of the Protection of Children Act 1978. So, with, with reference to the UK law, Malaysia was well aware of their obscure legislation governing child pornography and for that reason, SOCA 2017 was established to institute stricter legislation concerning child pornography and to strengthen the country uh, existing acts such as the Child Act 2001. Before the Sexual Offences Against Children Act 2017 SOCA was enacted, several laws have been implemented in Malaysia to protect children from victimising and exploitation. The need for imposed regulations as all kinds of pornography is prohibited, especially child pornography is considered illegal. The substance legislations in Malaysia were known as the Child Act 2001, the Penal Code 1936, the Printing Prices and Publications Act 1984, the Film Censorship Act 2002, and the Communications Multimedia Act 1998. However, the Child Act 2001 was in failed to give exact definitions of obscenity and pornography. In depth, it is inconsistent with the global standards. Notably, the present law circumstances that are child pornography cases online or offline are not end or even reduced in number. The Malaysian law's insufficiency to prevent online child pornography in Malaysia was determined focuses on four significant problems. The first reason is that the existing laws do not provide a specific provisions to criminalize the ownership of vulgar and obscene photos online. Next, since the current rules do not clearly define pornography, child pornography and obscenity, it was hard for the regulations to comprise all kinds of pornography. 
Thirdly, the pornographic websites and materials were easily accessed because of the internet's non-censorship policy. Finally, there exists a deficiency of judicial interpretation on offensive content issues. Concerning this, Malaysia imposed the Sexual Offences Against Children Act 2017 or SOCA 2017, which are more comprehensive as it covers all aspects to protect children's online and offline sexual abuse. First and foremost, the SOCA 2017 was viewed as more efficient with the evidence that it set out the exact definitions of child pornography which the existing laws failed to do it. Besides, SOCA 2017 also defined the term sexually explicit conduct and was set according to the Budapest and Lanzarote Convention's requirements. Secondly, SOCA 2017 was more effective as it is consistent with the international criterion by outlawing countless conduct concerning child pornography with with relevance penalties for effectual obviations of the misdeed. Thus, SOCA 2017 has laid down more severe sanctions like the lock-up period, flogging, and damages which portray the offences solemnity as put forward by the OPSC. The Child Act 2001 and SOCA 2017 have implemented the same mandatory obligation, but SOCA 2017 was more comprehensive. SOCA 2017 provides ironclad sentences and varies looking into the seriousness of offences regarding child pornography. Together with the effectiveness of SOCA 2017, statistic display about 36 cases has been indicted four months since its birth under the specific act in combating the consumption of child pornography. To conclude, as the current regulation is not adequate to provide full protection for children, all sites must take part in ensuring children can be fully protected from pornography and cyber sex. Family, teachers, policymakers and the government, especially the netizen, should be aware of the cyber threat. However, today's rate of accessibility to the countless devices that open the gateway to the cyber world has restricted the capability of parents to secure their own children. Vulnerability to the internet issue needs to be resolved not only by kids, but also by those who are networked. Consistent education service in the field of media literacy are also required not only in the education system, but also by relevant authorities. The Child Act 2016 amendment should improve the protection of kids on the internet. Other than that, it is also important to strengthen all forms of law associated with children and the internet, such as law on pornography, online abuse, cyber suicide, and others. That's all from us. Thank you.